Good morning, my beautiful benevolent warrior brothers and hero sisters of love and light. As you can barely see in that upper right-hand corner, there is a one missing there. You just seen that turn to 05, right, a.m.? Because it is 10.05 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so you can see that this is not just a screensaver. Uh, but I'm trying to show you. Not sure why it's not showing the other time. Interesting. That never happened before. But let's see if I can show you through the calendar itself. You already seen the time, right? It shows today, Monday, August the 31st. Okay, and you'll see that that eventually, in a few seconds, it should turn to 06. So I can show you that. Yeah, it doesn't show the time that way or this way. Interesting, this hasn't happened before. Um, but as you can see, my, my screen is very cracked. Um, okay, you can see, uh, hopefully you've seen that it turned into 10.06 a.m. On August the 31st. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to, but it's fine. But I'm going to go ahead and give you a short, quick update and then show you guys um, proper uh, weight management. Okay. First of all, I'm going to show you how much I weigh right now. One forty nine point eight. We'll let that zero out. Um, if there's no C after, uh, after the zeros, that means we can't trust the current calibration of the scale right now and there is excuse me there is no C so we can trust that weight of 149.8 and once again I got a 149.8 all right so that's my current weight today on August 31st and I'll show you by now the time should have changed by now yep it sure did it's 10.07 now, all right, still August 31st, because obviously I haven't stopped the um, the video, but just want to show you guys how much I'm, how much weight I'm going to cut in a span of 12 hours, so I'm going to check in again in 12 hours, and then 24 hours from now, so tomorrow at this time, I'm going to check in again, so we can see what my final weight loss will be. I, and this is not like me training crazy like for a fight, but I want to show you guys that I'm probably going to do maybe half of the efforts as far as like pushing and sweating and things like that, that a normal fighter would. And 149.8, so I will be 140, I want to be 144, okay? So technically my goal will be to be 143.5 so that I could be 144 so that I can safely be at 145 okay hopefully that made sense to you guys all right so I'm going to show you guys real quick what my body looks like right now without flexing flexing uh without flexing from the back without flexing from the right without flexing from the front once again now I'm going to flex my abs there's my abs here's my obliques Here's my opposite side of the obliques. Here's my lats from the front. Here's my lats from the back. My lower back muscles. Uh, biceps from the front. Biceps from the front like this. Biceps from the back. Tricep, tricep again from the opposite side, uh, shoulders, deltoids from the front, deltoids from the back, uh, chest, chest from that side as well, let's see, traps, Traps from the side, traps from the back, traps from the side, forearms are growing, neck are growing, glutes, hamstrings, sorry, hamstrings, quads, uh, calves, everything, working out everything, especially that lower abs, man. So we'll see what I come in weighing in 12 hours from now and in 24 hours from now. 
And again, this is not, I'm not going to push myself crazy like an actual fighter would in a fight camp and this and that. So even if I don't reach my goal, you guys get to know the details that I'm not pushing crazy hard. All right. And if I didn't, imagine if you guys try it, if you're a fighter and all, uh, whether men or female, and you push hard like you're supposed to, you know, right before a fight and stuff or, or tuning up for a fight or getting ready for the fight, whether it's two weeks out, six weeks out, whatever. Um, now, you know what to gauge if you want to try my methods. And if you try harder than what I am, you're going to get better results than I am. Right. So we'll show you what my results will be 12 hours from now, 24 hours from now. So let's see what happens. My name is Jesus Nezaya Medina, AKA striker when it comes to the fight game, because I like to strike a lot, all right? And don't forget, journey limited to creativity, pain is temporary, pride is eternal, fulfillment lasts forever. Peace. And one last thing is, I am use, utilizing uh, my unique methods of the one, two, three, four flush, which helps you flush or detoxify or clear or transmute in at least four planes of existences, physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional. So it's a complete transformation from the inside out, utilizing that warrior spirit, mind, body, spirit, and all in coherence. And also KO method, kinetic overload method, or knockout method when it comes to the self-defense part. But it's a holistic approach to fitness. And the holistic approach to fitness is, stands for ki kinetic overload method. Knockout method. Love you. One love.